This video is on address resolution protocol. ARP is used to resolve IP addresses to MAC addresses. On a network, devices find each other using IP address, but communication between devices require the MAC address. Simply put, the function of ARP is to resolve IP addresses to layer 2 or MAC addresses. When a computer wants to send data to another computer on a network, it must know the MAC address of a destination system. And to discover the information, ARP sends out a discovery packet to obtain the MAC address. When the destination computer is found, it sends its MAC address to the sending computer. The ARP resolve MAC addresses are stored temporarily on a computer system in the ARP cache. Inside this ARP cache is a listing of matching MAC and IP addresses. And this ARP cache is checked before discovery packets is sent to the network to determine whether there is an existing entry. Entries in the ARP cache are periodically flushed so that cache does not fill up with unused entries. Entries in the ARP cache can be added statically or dynamically. Static entries are added manually and do not expire. Dynamic entries are added automatically when the system accesses another on the network. As with other command line utilities, several switches are available for the ARP command. Tech A displays entries in the ARP cache. Tech S manually adds permanent entry to the ARP cache. Tech D deletes an entry from the ARP cache. Reverse address resolution protocol performs the same function as ARP, but in reverse. It basically resolves MAC addresses into IP addresses instead. It makes it possible for application or systems to learn their own IP address from a router or domain name system server. It's useful for tasks such as performing reverse lookup in DNS, and is defined in RFC 903.